In order for our plants to stay green and healthy, they need good nutrition. Sometimes the nutrient is lacking or perhaps tied up in the soil and the plant can't get a hold of it. You can often tell what the nutrient problem is by looking at what part of the plant is showing the symptom. For example, some nutrients are mobile in the plant. You can steal it from an older leaf to supply new growth. Nitrogen is that way and so is magnesium. So you see the yellowing on the older leaves first. Other elements are immobile. Iron is an example of that. With iron deficiency, the new leaves show the yellowing while the old leaves remain green. Sometimes you'll also see green veins with yellowing in between the veins. Iron deficiency is sometimes due to a lack of iron in the soil, but often due to the fact that iron is just tied up and the plant can't get it. High phosphorus and high pH levels can cause this. So in central and west Texas, we see a lot of iron deficiency. Now the easiest way to fix it is with an iron chelate supplement. If you're wondering what's causing deficiency on your plant, take a sample of the plant showing old and new growth to your county extension office and let them take a look at it. They can usually determine what the cause is prescribe the right fertilizer and the right rate to get it green again. With your common sense tip on turning a yellow shrub green again, I'm Skip Richter.